the thing with bottled water is the problem is that people buy it. They want to buy it. It's the consumers that want to buy it. It's a resource economist. I work on water issues. In particular, I work on water markets. I think that public water uh, management can be just as bad as private water management. The managers themselves um, are hard to monitor. It's a, an economics is called the principal agent model. And if you can't monitor your public water managers, then they might uh, not do their job. And if you can't manage or, or, or monitor your private managers, they might do, not do their job either. So I don't think privatization is actually the problem. I think it's a question of monitoring. Community, it's a, I call it um, community oversight. That's what matters more than private or public. I shouldn't be afraid of it. I think, um, I think there's a lot of people who have uh, an ideological view about privatization, and uh, it's very good headlines. Um, you know, they're going to privatize the rain, the Cochabamba case. Um, water privatization can work and does work well in some places. Um, it doesn't work well in some places. Uh, private water, public water supply doesn't work well in some places. So, um, like I said before, it's, it's not public or private. I think that there's a tremendous amount of disinformation. Uh, the number I tend to say is 20% of people really care about water um, from, a, from a, an intrinsic, internal, ethical perspective, moral. The other 8% don't care. They just do not care. And they don't even notice how much water they're using. So for the other 80%, the other I'm, I'm the person who says the price of water should be higher. Okay. And if water's more expensive, then people will pay attention. That's, that's how you get to those people. You do not get to them by giving them moral arguments because they do not care. Now water is priced according to the cost. If you priced water according to scarcity, then the price would go up. And um, obviously what you want to do is you want to take care of human rights. So what I say on my blog all the time is everybody gets some water for free, and if you want more, you pay. That the companies that are here, um, like I wrote on my blog, they're just here to get um, give each other gold certificates for doing um, nothing. I mean, publishing reports that they give each other certificates for that no one reads except for them. So um, you notice that the price is $1,800 to get into the conference, right? And the only people who can afford that are corporations. Bottled water is a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of total water. So bottled water is never going to have an impact on water supply. I think the, the thing about Pepsi and, and all these other companies, Fiji Water especially, is that they're going to this conference because um, they make crazy profits on bottled water. Just crazy. I mean, I figured it out. There was this case in McLeod, and I think the McLeod was getting paid way less than a tenth of a percent of the value of the water for the water they were selling to um, Nestle and North American Waters. I mean, I would worry way more about things like um, global trade and, you know, corruption in Africa and um, uh, political corruption in this country. There's, there's bigger issues. Um, water's a very visceral issue. People care about it. Um, so it'll, it'll probably get more attention than it deserves. No. No, I drink tap water, except in uh, developing countries. They miss a huge component, which is, so they blame the private companies, but they completely did not talk about corrupt government. And, you know, it takes two to tango. You can't have a water privatization without buying it from the government. And a lot of developing countries have got very corrupt governments. And so, you know, the fact that they didn't mention it means that everybody's going to walk out saying, oh, all we have to do is make the water public. But you completely omit the fact that public water management is not that good. Especially in India, where they lose 70% of the tap water in the mains. It doesn't even get to the house. And then it only runs two hours a day, at best. So they, that movie had, a, it was an anti-private company movie. And they, the movie sucked because they didn't um, cover the whole story. So it's a misleading movie. 
meet your local water manager. Go down there and find out where your water comes from. That's, that's what I say.